Hey everyone! This week I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to make a spiral or a ribbon shader using Unity Shader Graph. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to create this effect quite easily. This project will be available for you to download for free on GitHub. Link to my repo will be in the description down below. Before we dive in, remember to comment, like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. All right, from a fresh scene, I'm going to create a new PBR shader graph and double click it to open it up. First, let's create a new exposed vector 3 called up and default it to 0, 1, 0. Now create a position node, set it to object space, and take the dot product of the up vector and the position. Remember, this is a value between negative 1 and 1 that describes how similar these two vectors are. Next, create a new exposed vector 1 called width. I default it to 0 0.5. From our dot product, feed it into the fraction node. This returns everything after the decimal. Feed that as the in parameter into a step node, with the edge parameter being the width property. Follow that with a 1 minus to reverse it, and feed it into the alpha channel of the master node, and go ahead and turn the master node to transparent. Next, we need to map the position into another plane so that it's like we're looking down at a circle. We can do that with the cross product. Remember, the cross product returns a vector that is perpendicular to both vectors. So take position cross up. And we care about the direction, and cross product ruins normalization, so just go ahead and normalize it. Now create a new vector 3. This is the left vector, defaulted to negative 1, 0, 0. And be sure to normalize this one, in case some data that isn't normalized is entered later on. As I covered in a previous video, we can calculate the small angle between two vectors really easily. So take the dot product with our previous vector, followed by an arc cosine. Arc cosine returns a value between 0 and pi. There are two pi, or 360 degrees, in a circle. That's going to be important later on. Now if we add this in before the fraction, we can see that we're really close, just that each side is going in the opposite direction. We can fix this really easy by taking the dot product between the left vector and the position. The sign of that will tell us if we're on the left or the right side of the left vector. So just multiply that in to reverse the proper side. Now this is really close. A few problems though. There's the seam along the left vector, and we want to clean that up. And we would like to specify how many ribbons there are. Currently, it's like six and a half. Fortunately, we can kill two birds with one stone here. Remember that two pi thing? Well, if we divide the output of our cosine by two pi before we multiply with the sine, we get one ribbon and no seam. Now, why does that work? I'll draw a diagram to help. The line through the center here is the seam. It's easier to think of this as degrees. If we have a value between 0 and 180 degrees, and we divide that by 360 degrees. So if we're on the left seam, our value is 0, and 0 divided by 360 is 0. If we're on the opposite seam, the right vector, we have 180 divided by 360, which is 0 0.5. So we're slanting the ribbon up to half a ribbon's width away on both ends so that it meets the previous and following ribbons, which are also slanted by half. Time to make multiple ribbons. Simply add a new exposed vector 1 for the number of ribbons and just multiply that in. Nice. All right, let's animate it. You've seen me do this before. It's just time multiplied with speed. You can add in a static offset here so you can control where the ribbons are when speed is set to zero. Then just add all that in. Super cool. Spinning ribbons. So I'd like the ribbons to wrap around the object a bit more. To do that, just add a new vector 1 called the distance reciprocal. Divide our first dot product by this. The lower this value, the more they will wrap. And the higher, the more straight they will be. And then just go ahead and feed that in. Okay, time to add color. It would be really cool if each ribbon was a different color, right? So add a new gradient. I'm going to set three colors here to make clear what's happening. It's important to note that Unity doesn't have a good way for us to change this gradient inside of the material inspector. So you'll need to set your colors here in the shader or do some manual color lerping. We can sample the gradient at time, which is a value between 0 and 1. 
So start by flooring the value from our add node before the fraction. This makes it a whole number. Modulo division will tell us the remainder of it, or which ribbon we're on. In this case, with three ribbons, we get 0, 1, and 2. You would think that we just need to divide 1 by the number of ribbons to get the amount that we need to travel with each ribbon step, but that's actually wrong. You can see here that we're getting 0, 1 third, 2 thirds. But what we want is 0, 0.5, and 1. So simply subtract 1 from the number of ribbons before we divide by 1. Awesome. Each ribbon is now a different color. Don't forget to press the Save Asset button because Unity doesn't have contextual saving. Head over to the scene view, create a new material that uses this shader. You can play around with the settings here to find something that you like. Create a new sphere and drop this material on it. I always like to add some basic post processing to make things really pop, bloom especially. And that's it, you've created a ribbon shader. Drop a link below to some cool ways that you came up with to use this. Special thanks to my patrons on Patreon. You three really help motivate me to make content like this. Thank you, I really appreciate it. If any of you would like to see your name here, or as well as on my stream, please consider supporting me on Patreon. If you've made it to this point of the video and you haven't liked, commented, and subscribed yet, go do that now. Check out my live stream on Twitch, Wednesday through Saturday, 1pm to 7pm Pacific. Join my Discord community. There's tons of other developers in there, sharing cool work and chatting about awesome things. Be sure to stop on by. If you like my shaders and other work that I've created, check out my Unity Asset Store. You can find a shader pack there. You can find some of my Game Jam games and asset demos on my itch.io. Thanks for watching.